Hello my friends, Bruce here. Well today, my buddy Alfred bought himself a brand new generator. And uh, he only needs it for a short period of time, but he got a really good deal on it. He knows it's not a Honda, um, but it's very, it's bolt for bolt, similar to the Champion type generators. I literally, I mean bolt for bolt, filter for filter, everything. So I started assembling it and I thought, you know what, I better get you guys along just to show you the ride. Because there's a couple of different things. Uh, the wheels are slightly smaller. Let's just get a light too. Eh? So down here. Right there. We'll go to T for telephoto. You'll see right there. It's just a it's just a clip that holds the axle in on both sides. So that's that's doable. You can see the axle. Oops, you can see the axle at the end there. Let's just get you out of here now. And something that had me going when I first started looking at it was this. We'll lift it up. Oh, hey, gonk, are you okay? Hit you right in the forehead. Look at the uh, wheel set right there, here, and here. It's not in the center of the uh, of the bar for the uh, the other end rubber footrests. So that's interesting. So I'm just going to show you that even in the manual right here it shows the, the wheels are just offset to the right a little bit and that's the holes you use you don't drill holes in this thing like it's all set up like a like a Lego diagram right and then the arm the carry arm is just simply a, a pin and a clip on that side the pin and the clip so now we can move it around and I'm just going to put oil in it so here's the oil chart and 1030 down to minus uh, 15 Celsius or just over zero degrees Fahrenheit but 5 30 synthetic right there goes all the way from minus 30 to plus 48 degrees so I'm going to put 0.6 of a liter in and then I'm just leaving a note for the owner 530 full synthetic so that's where I'm at right now so let's do that Let's try not making a mess, but you never know. So I'm going to just put a rag down here, take the oil cap off, and with this unit, they send this cool little funnel, which I'd love to keep, but I didn't, it's not mine. It came with a generator, right? So that's, uh, that's where that goes. It just sits in there sideways sits in there like that we're gonna put I know you don't have to watch but we're gonna put I don't like pouring from this thing but we'll give it a go I know what I'm gonna do we'll go from funnel to funnel I think I'm gonna go from funnel to funnel whoop start wait wait again Yes, I'm on a knee pad, Mick. I think we'll do this because this this is a really hard measuring device to to uh, measure from. So there we are. Yep. So this just makes it a little neater. See, I spilled already. It's a slow process.
but I put a rag down so it'll be easy to clean up. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. And we'll just clean that up like that. That was smart, eh? I'm learning. And there it is. It's, it's actually dripping out of the threads. Can you see the threads right there? It's dripping out of there. Just, just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm just going to let it drip for a minute. I'll come back. All right, now we can put get some lighting in. It's really a cloudy day today. And we'll just put that cap on there. Well, it's nice they send that little funnel, huh? Now, I think the next step, if I'm not mistaken, add engine oil, add fuel. Do not overfill tank, it says. Make sure you have a quarter of an inch of, of space in the top of the tank to allow for expansion. Doesn't even say what kind of fuel to use. And then we get into Yes, so let's just put you up on the, on the perch now. We're still looking down at the cute little generator. And we're going to put some gasoline in it. I think this will be good. Now, just to let you guys know, this is premium fuel here. No ethanol. Back in a bit. All right. This is my uh, ethanol tester. It's just a little tube. You add that much water. Then you fill the rest with gasoline. Right to the top. You put the lid on it. You wipe it off, of course. And you mix this up and let it sit for a few minutes, and it tells you right away. And if this line increases, it has it has ethanol. So we'll uh, just come back in you know 15 minutes and we'll have a look. It doesn't take hours like the test shows. I've done this many times now. The suspense was the suspense was killing me, but okay, it's been 15 minutes and we have not. I'll make the camera perfectly level. We have not gained even a skosh of liquid there. Still at the ad right there. So no ethanol in this fuel. Alfred, if you're watching. Okay, well, I think we're ready for some gas. I'm going to use my Mr. Funnel. Oh, that's cool. That's perfect. Uh, maybe not. Now, what do I use to pour with? I want to use exactly, I want to give them three liters of fuel, which is a, a generous amount, I think. I'll be right back and I'll measure that out. All right, we're going to give this gentleman three liters of fuel with my Mr. Funnel Funnel. And it has a filter in it too, but I've already done, sorry, I used this filler, I used this uh, funnel to measure the three liters. These things hold a horrific amount of fuel. That's double filtered. It's like a like a good beer, I guess. Now these Mr. Funnels, they don't. You always have about an eighth of a cup left over. We'll just pour that off. 
You don't want to waste it these days, right? Now, do we have anything on the gauge? <clears throat> Let's just see how much that got us. I got my old-fashioned gauge here. Okay, it gave us an inch and a quarter of fuel. So these things hold a drastic amount of gas, right? Yes, this is the filter. Wow, it doesn't even show on the gauge. Ah, eh, kind of. <laughs> so that's, that's how much gas they hold, my friends. Let's just give it a nice little wipe. So, instructions. We'll be right back. Alright, my friends, we're going to just start this guy up. We're going to switch on. Go to choke. And I've moved the gas from off to on there. And uh, let's just see how it does. Maybe it doesn't even need a choke. for a few minutes. Thanks a lot. Give it a minute. So there's two, okay, 120 volts, 30 amps, 120 volt, 30 amp different connector, right? For trailers or whatever, and then you've got your two outlets there. Now the old one had four 120s for 15 amp. But that's it, that's gonna work for them. And uh, it just runs like a champ, eh? So uh, I'm just reading the manual about, I have not read anything in the manual about break-in oil, how long you should run this. But I would, I would probably put 10 hours on it and then change the oil again. He'll probably bring it back to me in the, just in the late fall when he's done at the cabin. Thanks guys, that was fun.